बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट वी स्टैंड इन द मिडल ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी एंड दिस पीरियड हैज सीन फार रीचिंग चेंजेस ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड देयर हैव बीन वॉर्स एंड रेवोल्यूशंस द टेम्पो ऑफ चेंज इज वेरी ग्रेट एनी प्लान दैट वी मेक लाइक दिस फाइव ईयर प्लान इज सब्जेक्ट टू द ग्रेट पोलिटिकल इकोनॉमिक एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल चेंजेस दैट वी आर विटनेसिंग ऑल ऑफ अस हैव सम काइंड ऑफ आइडियोलॉजी सम काइंड ऑफ फिलोसॉफी ऑफ लाइफ वी मे नॉट बी फिलोसॉफर्स बट विदाउट सम काइंड ऑफ फिलोसॉफिकल और आइडियोलॉजिकल अप्रोच वी वुड हैव नो यार्ड स्टिक टू मेजर थिंग्स बाय एंड येट आवर आइडियोलॉजीज एंड फिलोसॉफीज ऑफ लाइफ सम हाउ डू नॉट फिट इन विद दिस मिडल ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी दिस मे बी ड्यू टू द फैक्ट दैट दो फैक्ट्स चेंज एंड सरकमस्टांसिस बिकम डिफरेंट वी स्टिल होल्ड ऑन टू ओल्ड लाइन्स ऑफ थिंकिंग द ह्यूमन माइंड इज सिंगुलरली कंजर्वेटिव एंड इट डज नॉट चेंज ईजीली वी होल्ड ऑन इफ आई मे वेंचर टू से सो टू सम आउट ऑफ डेट फिलोसॉफिकल और आइडियोलॉजिकल अप्रोचिस टेक द क्वेश्चन ऑफ वॉर मैनी पीपल से दैट बिकॉज ऑफ वेरियस डेवलपमेंट्स इन द वर्ल्ड वॉर हैज बिकम और ऑट टू बिकम आउट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वॉर वॉज यूजफुल वेदर गुड और बैड इफ इट हेल्प्ड यू to realize your objective when it does not do that when in fact it does the reverse then no person should indulge in war i should like to extend that parallel a little further if a war atomic or other is now something that can only be considered excessively foolish cold war becomes more and more absurd cold war exists it goes on but really analyzed in the circumstances of today it has little meaning likewise certain other approaches some economic approaches which may have a great deal of truth just do not fit in with the present circumstances the major fact of today is the stupendous growth of technology the tremendous growth of the productive apparatus of society the tremendous power that human beings possess and are likely to possess in the form of atomic energy these things are not quantitative changes but qualitative changes in society of course in india we have not been very powerfully affected by the technological process we have read about it but we have no real sensation of it in planning however we have to think in technological terms for production of wealth on large scale we are now going to have annual plans every year a report of the annual plan will be placed here which will give a more precise indication of the targets for that year i hope to place a report of the annual plan of the first year of the second five year plan before this house during the next session we have said that our objective is a socialistic pattern of society i do not propose to define precisely what socialism means in this context because we wish to avoid any rigid or doctrinaire thinking even in my life i have seen the world change 
so much that I do not want to confine my mind to any rigid dogma. But broadly speaking, what do we mean when we say socialist pattern of life? We mean a society in which there is equality of opportunity and the possibility for everyone to lead a good life. Obviously, this cannot be attained unless we produce the wherewithal to have the standards that a good life implies. We have therefore to lay great stress on equality, on the removal of disparities and it has to be remembered always that socialism is not the spreading out of poverty. The essential thing is that there must be wealth and production. There is a good deal of talk about ceilings and one naturally tends to agree with it because one wants to remove disparities. But one has always to remember that the primary function of a growing society is to produce more wealth otherwise it will not grow and one will have nothing to distribute. If in the process of fixation of ceiling or in any other method of producing some kind of equality you stop this process of wealth accumulation then you fail in your objective. Therefore, whether it is in industry or agriculture, the one and the primary test is whether you are adding to the wealth of the country by increasing the production of the country. If not, you become stagnant in that field. In order to reach equality as I hope we shall, some time or other, we need not follow the road of some artificial fixation of ceilings but a hundred paths which gradually takes us there. An artificial attempt may indeed prevent us from reaching it. Remember this, while we plan, while we work, our population also grows. I gave the house just now the estimated figure of our national income in the next 20 years. By the end of that period, the population of India will be round about 500 millions. This rate of population growth is not that very great. 